The Akasa Soho Air 120 is part of the new Soho product series and the same fan used on the Akasa Soho H4 air CPU cooler. However, this fan can be acquired as a standalone product and it's not just a simple fan, it's much more than that. The Soho AR 120, as the name suggests, is a 120mm fan that features an addressable RGB ring on the FAC and the front sides of the fan frame, alongside an all-black color scheme. In terms of the pricing, the Akasa Soho AR 120 can be had for around 30 US dollars, which is not the best price in the world, not when the Noctua NF F12 is priced at 22 US dollars. And I'm sorry, but the Noctua has a better bearing and has a lot of accessories included that make it a better value for its price. The accessory bundle is simple, not really, it's, it's simple. You get two sets of four screws and that's it. One set for installing the fan on the case and one set is for installing the fan on the radiator, which is great to see as you essentially get the hardware to install the fan in both scenarios. From a design perspective, there isn't much that I'd call unique. However, looking closer, you will notice elements that are often seen on high-end fans. Starting with the impellers, the Soho AR 120 has nine of them and all are close to each other. A similar impeller design is found on one of the best fans on the market, the Noctua NFA 12 X25. This impeller design is ideal for radiator and heatsink usage, as it generates a high static pressure and lowers the airflow leakage. The fan has a minimum speed of 500 rpm and a maximum speed of 2000 rpm. Fortunately, it can be controlled through software or a fan hub, as the Soho AR120 is fully PWM compatible. The power connector is a standard 4-pin, while the RGB connector is the newer style 3-pin. The cable of the fan is plenty long and all black, unfortunately it has no sleeving to protect the wires, but this is also what makes it thinner and easier to route around your system, so you can make your own mind with this one. In terms of the build quality, these fans are really well made, with a solid plastic frame and solid plastic impellers, in fact this fan frame is as solid as a Noctua fan frame, and that says a lot about the internal build quality and structure of the plastic frame. Speaking of the fan frame, the corners are covered by solid rubber pads that will dampen the vibrations generated by the spinning motion of the blades. In addition, these will also prevent the fan from scratching the radiator, case or heatsink. The center of the fan has the Akasa logo placed on a radial brushed metal plate. Fortunately, this plate is centered on the motor assembly and will look good while the fan is spinning, a thing which other fans cannot achieve for some reason. Speaking of the center of the fan, the bearing used with the Soho Air 120 is a hydrodynamic bearing system with a life expectancy of 40,000 hours. Before we test the fan, you will get to hear a noise sample of the fan going from a standstill to its maximum rated speed. In the case of the Soho Air 120, that is 2000 RPM. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for comparing the fan with other models, it does not highlight additional noise sources, such as a wind turbulence, bearing noises or the impellers vibrating inside the fan frame. Running at a maximum speed of 2000 RPM, the Akasa Soho Air 120 reached a maximum noise output of 48 decibels, with the measuring device placed at a standard distance of 10 cm away from the fan. This noise output is not surprising because we are talking about a fan with a maximum speed of 2000 RPM. Not many fans can be silent at that speed and it's not likely that you will use this fan at that speed either. 
The performance testing is done using a simple 240mm all-in-one liquid CPU cooler, which is cooling the Intel i9-9900K CPU. And in our testing, the Akasa Soho Air 120 reached a maximum temperature of 73 degrees Celsius, with a fixed ambiental temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, a result which places this fan next to the Arctic Bionics F120 or the Kazeflex RGB, a good result from a 120mm fan, however not for a fan that spins at over 2000 RPM. This performance is on par with many mid-range and upper-range fans that do not use specific bearings or technologies meant to increase the airflow or static pressure. With a speed of 2000 RPM, I was hoping more from this fan, but this result is not bad at all. There's also a lot of RGB, although it's not as obnoxious as the RGB found on other fans, especially cheaper models. There are two rings of LEDs, one at the back and one at the front, and that's pretty much it. In terms of the effects, it's the basic stuff that you will find on most if not all addressable RGB fans. Rainbow, solid colors, color changing and a few others. The Akasa Soho Air120 is a mid-range 120mm fan. It will not compete with the Noctua fans that are made to perform on radiators or as case fans. However, the Soho Air120 will compete with many mid-range fans that are designed to work both on heatsinks and on cases. The build quality of the Soho Air120 is great, with a solid frame and no imperfections across all surfaces. The biggest drawback of this fan is the price. At 30 or even 29 US dollars, it's still more expensive than some Noctua fans. Fans that not only perform better, are quieter, better built, and come with a better accessory bundle. The Akasa Soho Air120 is a good mid-range fan, but it needs to be cheaper to be competitive in a market that already has key players and fan models that dominate the charts and sale lists. If you can find this fan for cheaper and you like the design of it, then by all means buy it, it is a good fan. If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and also if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Substarbestar pages of this channel.